Hello to all you cool kids out there. Thank you guys so much for coming back and checking out my channel. Or if you're new, thank you for checking out my channel. I am Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net. And I pretty much go live Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Just doing a bunch of junk journal related stuff around um, around my little house, you know. <laughs> um, I like to uh, do different junk journal projects every single day for about an hour or two and see what I come up with. Hi, Erin. Welcome. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing today. We are going to be making junk journal uh, pockets, junk journal page pockets. And these are page pockets because they actually started off as these like tag pockets that um, were inspired by Patricia Veramontes, the queen of book page uh, stuff, <laughs> book page uh, projects. So that's what we're going to be doing today. But except I decided not to make it into a tag. I'm just going to glue them down onto my junk journal pages and use them like that so that's what we're doing today and i'm using this awesome little book of different i guess beethoven songs it's a really small vintage book it's from uh 1955 according to this page right here that i'm going to be taking out so 1955 and um, it doesn't really matter what size your book page really is it can work with any book that you have or if you want to cut them down the end result um, is going to be a little bit bigger than this because I actually cut it this size so that I can make it into a tag. And then I decided I don't want to make it into a tag. I just want to make it into a journal page. So I'm going to make them probably a lot wider, which I think this is still okay. I might make them the same size. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. So I already have um, pages. These are two pages that are glued together. I'll glue down a couple more because um, I'm going to want to make a couple more tags. We'll see how many I get done. I got my little glue stick here. Thank you to Crafty Irina for sponsoring my glue sticks. She's the best. I totally needed more glue sticks and she's like, oh, I got you. <laughs> okay, so you glue the two pages together and then you pull them apart and um, oops, I accidentally got an extra one. Um, you could probably get away with not doing this if you have really thick book pages. So you could probably get away with that, just using one. I just wanted to use two, so we'll see. So now I'm just putting the glue inside the border here of the actual music uh, print, whatever this is, music instructions. And um, because I'm going to cut it out, that's going to be the size of my book page pocket. And I think they're all the same size. I don't know. We'll measure it probably. This one. Actually skipped a couple pages in here. Oh, well. Life goes on. Get nice and sticky. Pull them off. I can't remember where I got this. It doesn't even have a price on it, so I don't know where I got it. I can't, I couldn't tell you right now where I got it. I can't remember. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Annetta. Welcome, you guys. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so that should be enough for now. When I'm done, I'll pull some more out. Okay, so now we got to cut them. And there's actually two, um, two sheets per uh, per uh, pocket because one is the actual background and then one is this uh, the actual pocket part of it. Hi, girl. Helen. Welcome. So that's what we're doing with that. So let me get my little glue stick cover back on here. I need my paper cutter. I'm probably going to measure them because I did with this one. And it was a pretty nice size, actually. Could have been four inches. This is just slightly smaller than four inches. So let's just make it four so that way we get a nice um, size. That way they can all be the same size. And I think I'm going to leave it like this. I don't think I cut it shorter. Looks like I did. Whatever, I'm not going to. 
<laughs> and this one is going to be cut four inches, but then I'm going to make it smaller. So it has to be the same width. And like I said, this could be any book pages, and then you just cut out the text block basically to whatever size that is. And that can be your size for your uh, book page pocket. Four inches, that's what I'm working with. And then this one has to be cut down smaller. This is over six inches. So this could probably be, let me see if I like it at four. Oh yeah, because I am going to um, fold down part of it. So at four, and then I'm gonna fold down part of it. So this is four by four. And this is about four by like six. So those are my sizes, but yours could be any size really. It doesn't matter. And we'll probably make a little mini tag out of this. That would be cute. So let's save that. <laughs> okay, so let's see. And again, yes, this is vintage music book paper. Sure, everybody, and it's not very hard to find vintage music sheet paper or even just vintage music sheets. This is just a really interesting size, which is probably why I bought it because it's so little. <laughs> it's just like a little booklet. Hi, Crafty Irina. Girl, I was about to grab this as chapstick. They're like the same. <laughs> I was about to fix y'all's problem. <laughs> There's the four, and then we're just gonna leave it like that. And then, oh, I want this one to be the background though. So we'll put that one aside. Okay. About four, and I'm only measuring, and I normally don't, but it's just because, you know, this pocket right here has to be the same size. It's really the only reason why I'm measuring by four. Okay. okay. These are looking good. That's already two pockets with their little pockets. <laughs> okay, this one I want this to be the background. So I want to remember that. Okay. This one. Four over here. Uh oh, I have to check it. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. I told you, I don't check it unless I'm expecting something. <laughs> Cause, ugh. Get so much stuff every day, it's so annoying. Like, may, like actual, like junk mail, I mean, not like actual mail. Junk mail, too much. I have a collection of my junk mail and I'm going to um, probably make a journal with it all. <laughs> okay, so that's gonna be this one. And then the missing one for this one. We'll work on these four first. And then we'll see how long I have left. In my little scrappy happy hour. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's copywritten by Rhonda. <laughs> okay, so this baby all over. We're done. Had to hang out the laundry. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so there's this one I'm going to use. Yeah, I want this one to be the forefront because that's really cute. It's kind of cute. Then I have all these pretty stripes here I could use for collaging. I don't know, maybe not. 
I'm just gonna throw those away. It's a little too much. Too many scraps. I already have a lot of scraps. <laughs> it's too much. Can't save every little scrap, you know? I know it's hard. <laughs> it's hard, but I just can't. Aw, oh, thank you, Irina. You're too sweet. <laughs> My birthday. <clears throat> My birthday's coming up. It's like, you know, whatever, but. <laughs> Thank you, Irina. Hi, Patricia. Welcome. It's just sometimes it's like this scrap. Okay. Okay. The scrap, I'll say this scrap. I sh I, do I need to? Do I really need to? <laughs> These will be cute little tags. I can already see it. Okay, so back to these pockets, right? So I am, oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot. I have to score these little ones. Mm. Let me see what it looks like at an inch. Okay, so since my light too bright it might be a little too bright. Okay. So that's the little pocket. Mm. Yeah, I could live with that. I could live with it being you can see some of this. Okay. I could deal with that. So I'm folding it at one inch. Again, whatever you think works for your project is fine. Every paper is different. That looks cute. And if you wanted to go the step further to make this, obviously you just cut off the little corners and punch a hole in it. <laughs> and it's a tag pocket. <laughs> but for this, it's going to be a page pocket because I want to glue the whole thing down to the page. So it doesn't matter if it's a tag or not. <laughs> okay. And there are words on here. That's the only way I know what way it's supposed to go. There's that. Sandra, you really should, girl. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. And it adds like little details to, you know, to your journal that I just love. Sorry, I'm trying to lower my camera down a little bit. There we go. I was afraid for a long, long time. And then I wasn't. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and then I pretty much just practiced a lot, a lot, a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, so on here, I actually did this kind of a rectangle on it first. We'll see if I can do it. Or did I just make two lines? I could just make two lines. Yeah, let's just make two lines just to make it simple for me. I'm just using the straight stitch. I got this fun colors. It's got purple on the back and kind of like a magenta in the front. Why not? <laughs> Why not? I'm just going to cut off the little threads because that gets on my nerves. And another straight stitch. And right there. Okay. 
then I'm going to stitch all around. I got this, the pocket part in the front, you know, and I need to sew all around the edge, all around the perimeter. And I'm using a really one eighth of an inch border. You can go slow, you know, put your own piece. <laughs> Look at the hang of it. It just takes a lot of practice. Like, it took me even a lot of practice to, like, try and bother to make straight stitches. Because <laughs> that was a little hard. And it just took a lot of practice to get good at it, or at least, you know, decent. perimeter <laughs> there was like another word it was like either perimeter or something else i can't remember what it was okay so this looks really cute with that thread when i use this purple thread i didn't feel like it was standing out enough you see how that kind of blends but this one kind of stands out a little bit more so there's your pocket right there and then you can glue the whole thing back or you could also just clip it onto your book page onto your journal page but i'm gonna glue it down and just make it a pocket so i really like this thread better than this purple thread it's purple on the back <laughs> patricia says she's with the grandchildren how cool yeah they are out of school aren't they i haven't seen any traffic <laughs> any uh, school traffic anymore. I can do the, I did it so well over here. I don't even know how I did this so well. I impressed myself. I don't know if I can outdo myself. I'm going to try. Oof, that's so hard. This next one could be too long. Okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. I might have made it, maybe. Oh, that might not be so good over here. <laughs> I might not have done as good as I thought I did. Like, I don't even know how I got them so good this last time. We'll see. So last time I did it into a rectangle, you can see here, I did this into a rectangle and then I sewed all the way around. So that's why it kind of looks doubled up here on the sides. So I'm trying to see if I can do it. I don't think I did it very well over here or over here. I don't know. Let's sew it all together. That went pretty well. Yeah, straight stitch made me so nervous for the longest time. Just because obviously, I mean, it's a junk journal, but, you know, sometimes you want it to look a little bit nice. <laughs> and, uh, you know, just like perfect a little bit of a skill of like, you know, stitching straight. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't like to ink things. It, hurt, it hurts my hands. So I don't want to hurt myself. This is already in the, Well, no, this is pretty easy work on my hands. I want to get back to quilting, but it's a lot of cutting in that, and that kind of hurts my hands, too. 
Okay, so let's get back a little bit this way. Okay. Right there. But you could definitely ink them. <laughs> so there you go. That kind of makes it stand out a little bit. Just a little bit. I did do pretty good. And I can tell I did good because the lines here matched up. You see how they matched up? That's how I can tell I did okay. <laughs> I could put a fancy stitch right here. I'll probably do that on the next one. Okay, so let's go on to the next one. <laughs> These are going pretty good. These are going pretty good. Oh my gosh, Sass, you're funny. Off. And now let me do a fancy stitch, maybe. Let's do number, I left 65, this little scalloped stitch that I just love. And I'm just kind of making it as wide and uh, the biggest length and the biggest width possible. Yeah, I don't know what way it's supposed to go. Either way, it'll be cute. Let's go. I don't think I started in the center. Oh, well. <laughs> um, maybe I could do two of them. <laughs> it happens. It happens. We'll see. We'll see. That is cute. I'm not even mad at it where it is. But I could do a little bit more. Let's, let's go over the top here. We're going to do this little star stitch that I love. Also going with the biggest, longest width I can get. Let's put it over here. Now let's do it here. I don't know where it's going to start or where it's going to go, but here we go. like little stars. I love this stitch. It's so cute. Okay. Yes! Look at that. That's so cute. I am happy with that. That is adorbs. Oh, you're getting a schnauzer. My mom had a schnauzer. Mimi, oh my god. We had to put her down this year, my little mini schnauzer, but she was like 12, 13 years old. She had a good life, that little pups. I love schnauzers. They're so cute. She had a little mini schnauzer, so it was just, oh, most cute little pups. <laughs> They're such good puppies, though. She, like, even if you left the door open, she would not go anywhere. She's like, I'm not going out there. They're really good puppies, and they're really loyal, and they're awesome. Schnauzers, and they're so cute. They look like little dogs. Love it. Yeah, she would never, ever have stepped out the house if you didn't allow her to. She's so good. She's such a good puppy. Okay. I might have messed up this corner. Oh well. Okay. Over 
a little bit. Okay, this one looks too cute with a pocket. Ooh, I did get on that corner, but I messed that one up. <laughs> I put my needle in the wrong spot. Oh, well. <laughs> but that looks so cute with that embroidered little pocket there. Here I was off just a tiny bit on my lines, but oh, well. I live. It still looks adorable. I think I'm going to keep doing these fun little stitches because those are adorable. They kind of give it a little bit more emphasis. I love it. Love it. Yes, the little schnauzers. They're so cute. Okay. Okay, so now we have this one. Let's do our little... You know, I don't even... No, yeah, I do like the... I was going to say, I don't even need these lines, but I do kind of like that myself, actually. <laughs> Never mind. What am I saying? Straight stitch? Okay, we're on straight stitch. Good. Straight stitch is the most, like when you're trying to be straight, it's like the most stressful thing ever. <laughs> okay. So that looks cute. So now we get to do the fun stitches again. Let's do number 75, which is like a little loop-de-loop. -loop. 75. It's got a, again, I'm making it the biggest uh, width, the biggest length I can. Let's see what it looks like up here. Maybe I can do the little star stitch underneath it. I don't know. Very swirly darly. That looks pretty cute. Um, we could probably do. Let's see, I'm gonna do that heavier. There's a straight stitch that's a little bit heavier, like a little bit thicker. So let me do that. Just underneath it. That's cute. Just to give it a little bit of emphasis underneath the little loop-de-loop. -loop. A little something-something. Okay, so now we're going back to our regular straight stitch at the longest length, which is what I usually use for paper, so it doesn't puncture it too, too much. Tiny bit off, but okay. I can live with that. It's gonna be a little shorter, but okay. 
That still looks good. Just a little pocket, a little loopy look down here. I could also do something up here if I wanted to. Yeah, but I kind of like that. And I really, I like this combo. I'm, I might do this on the next one, actually, because that is a really cute combo. It's really bold uh, stitches there. Okay, so I, I want to do a couple more. So these are the four that I just made. Pretty fast, half hour, I made four of them. Okay, so have, we're going back to the book. And again, I'm gonna glue two pages together. Like that, and then rip them out. <clears throat> okay, glue, 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 everywhere, glue. Okay. So these two are going to be a pair. So let me do at least four, ta four more tags. So that'll be eight pages, eight sets that I need. Just got this glue. We're just going to town with it. Just in the text block, though. So whatever size your book is, uh, just use the text block as your size. a little hard to pull out so all these other papers okay this is the middle page that's why okay oops hang on you guys i'm struggling over here it was like a signature basically basically one of the signatures. Okay, must have been the middle of it. <laughs> together with this one. Back to how they were. So here's another set. Here's uh, one, two, and this will be three. set I should say. Fourth book page pocket. <laughs> okay. So now we need to cut them. Ew, I don't know why I'm taking this. Let me back up a little bit. Back it up. My cutter again. And again, whatever your text block size is, that'll determine the size of the book page pocket, unless you want to make it smaller than that. I'm going to make mine four wide, four inches wide, just so I know that the bottom pocket is going to fit. Otherwise, I wouldn't bother measuring. So you kind of have to need to know here. 
that'll just stay like that. And this one is going to be the pocket part of it. So four inches here. Great Dane, that's a big dog, right? Oh my goodness. Four inches. This is a four by four square. This one is four by like six. Got a little spare tag there. Galoot. What does that even mean? I don't know what that means. <laughs> God, I've never heard that word. Basset hound. See, that's what I, if I ever had a dog, I don't know. I'm not really a dog person, but I do kind of like dogs. But I'm too chill, and that's why I have a cat. So I always thought French bulldogs would be chill dogs. Like, not very energetic. I kind of like chill, chill animals. <laughs> like, my, even my mom's dog, even at 12 years old, she had a little too much energy for me. <laughs> okay, so there's two of them done. By four inches over here. Tag. This is the little pocket part. The little poly pocket. Hi, happy Scrappy Forty Five. Welcome. This is going to be by four. Here is the last of the last. Page part, and here's the pocket. Then I have to score this pocket part one inch. Careful not to rip your paper because I have. <laughs> Don't rip through your paper now. So here we go, one inch. Okay, cool. I'm with it. I am with it. Okay. Was I noticing what side they were going on? Okay, that's good. I can't read music, but there's little words in here, so that way I know what so, what way they're supposed to go. <laughs> I never took music lessons, y'all. I'm sorry. I have no musical talent. I'm like J-Lo. I'm just kidding. I'm less famous. <laughs> slightly. Just slightly. Just slightly. <laughs> just a little bit less. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let me try here. Okay, so let's go with this. Okay, good. So now we got our little pieces. We got little pieces. We got to put them together. Okay. Okay. So first I'm going to work on the little pocket. 
And first I'm going to make a rectangle perimeter border thingy. So second, I'm using a 1 8 inch whatever size around here. And then right here. I don't know, I must have hit it in the right spot because I think I did that one pretty good. <laughs> okay. Just took me a whole lot of practice, that's all. Okay, so now I'm going to do a bunch of little fancy borders. I think I'm going to do the same thing I did over here. I really dig this combo, actually. So let me do that. Let me do the scalloped edge. Oh, yeah. And my sewing machine, you guys, I forgot to tell you, is the Brothers Project Runway Limited Edition CE1125 PRW. That's what I use in case you're wondering. Okay, so I'm going to use number 65, stitch number 65. And uh, it's this really cute scalloped edge and I'm going to use the um, widest longest settings ooh I might have gone way too high with it oh well we'll see how it goes I could just do another one under me okay there's ways to fix this See, I went a little too high on that one, and it hit the top. Which is actually, I mean, it doesn't look bad, but I mean, that's not what it's supposed to do. I guess now I know I need to be a little bit lower with it. But, but, you could still save it. <laughs> you could still save it. Um, let me see if I can do another one underneath. I might just save it. Okay, here we go. I can't remember what was I watching and they said one was a mistake but two is a design choice. <laughs> So I think that looks good still. And you know what? I still want to do the little stars. I don't know if that'd be crazy. Maybe on the next one. Maybe on the next one. This one looks kind of cute, just like that with the two scalloped edges. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Okay, so let me get my straight stitch border on now. So I'm going to sew around the edge to get it closed up. I don't use glue. You could totally use glue. I just sometimes when I when I, when I can get away with it, I choose not to. I try not to. Okay, so here we go. Let's get this border on. And I got my straight stitch. Straight stitch. Shush, 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 sorry. <laughs> my straight stitch set to um, the longest length, which is five. Just so y'all know, we're on the same page. This will be great practice for your straight stitch. <laughs> and it's a junk journal. It's not a shirt, so don't worry if it's not all the way straight. It's just practice. But making a bunch of these really is how I learned how to do straight stitch good, or at least, you know, okay, at a decent level. Like, I say that as I messed up, but yeah. <laughs> And backstitch. Okay, so there's this pocket right here. It's got a <laughs> a double scallop right here. Daisy, what color is that thread? The bobbin looks purple. Yes, the bobbin is purple, <laughs> but the thread on the top is magenta. I just was too lazy to change out the bobbin. <laughs> I'm gonna glue this down so you won't see that except for these threads over here. <laughs> so that's okay. <laughs> 
Don't tell anyone, and I won't either. Okay, so that's that one. That is that one. Let me get some water, you guys. My goodness. It is dry out here. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, straight stitch. We're going to do the little... Um, and I do the little square, basically, so I get these lines here. So it kind of looks like I did this whole sewing in here when I really didn't. It's totally unnecessary. <laughs> and it's totally unnecessary, but um, it's what I like to do. Make things unnecessarily hard for myself. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> life choices. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, right there. And then I'm back to stitch. Okay. So now let's do the little scalloped edge. I'm really picky with the with the stitches I like. And I kind of tend to stick to the same stuff. So I'm picking number 65 on the longest, widest setting I can possibly do. And now I know. I think I know where I'm supposed to put this. Oh my goodness. Yeah, okay, that was good. That was good. That was still too high, but okay. <laughs> I'm learning. Still too high. Okay. We can live with it being a little high. So let me now do the little stars. I am going to do the number 27 stitch. Again, biggest, widest settings. have a get together that would be cool i just don't know how to organize anything like that <laughs> they didn't teach me that in school <laughs> okay so that still doesn't look so bad <laughs> okay so let me do a straight stitch Together correctly. Okay, so here we go. This is going surprisingly well. I'm about to mess up. <laughs> okay, okay, we're going, we're going. Okay. And then back stitch. <clears throat> okay, so this looks good. My little pocket, yeah. And I love that little combo of stitches right there with the scallop and the little stars. Looks so cute that I love it. Okay, so we got a couple more, literally two more to do. 
<clears throat> I don't think that's very bad. That's eight tags in an hour, basically. It's going to probably take me another, like, I don't know, 15 minutes. Depends on how long I keep trying to tell you it's going to take me. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I don't think I should have done that. Okay, that would be good right there. Right. Thank you, Aaron, for noticing. <laughs> Thank you for noticing my rocket. <laughs> okay, so let's do it. Um, okay, okay. Should, should I switch up the stitch? Let's see. Um, we could try 75. We'll see the little loop-de-loop. -loop. I won't change any of the settings. Uh, maybe a little bit. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Default. Let me just make it two. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the the width a, slightly. We'll see what we get here. Here we go. Do a little swirly action. with the little swirlies. I love that. But underneath, let's see, let's just put a thicker line. Um, or let's see, what else could we do? Let's see. Maybe I could do the little stars, but make them, not make them so big. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Let's see if I don't make them wide and big, what do they look like? Pull it out, Vicky, pull it out. <laughs> that looks cute still. It's a little crammed in there. I might do another straight line on top. I don't know if that's a little crazy because it's already really busy. <laughs> but I think it'll fit. Stitches on the side right there. Everything looks more interesting in three. That's the rule. So this is the third element here. So that looks a lot more interesting. Maybe <laughs> I want to look crooked. That's okay. It's okay. I still love it. Okay, so let's attach it here. Straight stitch. Back to the good old straight stitch. Bye, Sass. See you next time. Thanks for stopping by, girlfriend. So, a little bit, okay, 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 here we go. smoother as you go along. I'm telling you, this is good straight stitch practice right here. Humid. I know I can't even deal with Texas. 
<laughs> I don't even want to know. I don't know. I can't. It's humid during the winter and it's humid during the summer. Like, when is it not humid in Texas? That's what I want to know. When is it not humid? Because I went in November and it was humid. <laughs> so tell me when it's not humid, I might come over. Actually, I'm going to go see my little brother, my little um, siblings in November. I'm going to go see them in November. They live in San Antonio. San Antonio. I'm going to go check it out again. Do more tourist stuff. They have a lot of botanical gardens out there I want to go see. <laughs> And I want to go see the river walk during the daytime. Because I only went at night last night. Which is cool. But I want to see during the day. It could be nice. Okay. So now let's do the little fancy stitch. Stitches. Oh. Let's see. Let's do number. Um, 95. 95 looks a little interesting. We'll see what it looks like. 95. It's a little interesting. little stitches. Okay, kind of cute, kind of cute. I like that. It's like a little, like, little mountains with, like, little stitches in between. That might have been a little too too many stitches because, yeah, I kind of ripped it. <laughs> so we'll just leave it, leave it at that. <laughs> so let's put it together. And we'll go from there. <laughs> what I get for exploring new stitches, you guys. That's what I get. <laughs> Spring. So here's this pocket. That was kind of lame, but whatever. <laughs> that is the last of them, you guys. So these are the, I think I got eight of them done. Yeah, eight page pockets done. So that is a nice quick project for you guys to get into and have a little bit of fun. I know some of you guys ink stuff, so it'll take a little bit longer, but I had fun playing around with some stitches. See, did I get eight done? I think I did. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I got eight done. So that's good. Okay, you guys. I hope you guys had fun with me. What's what machine do I have? I have the um, Brothers Project Runway Limited Edition CE one one two five PRW. It's at Walmart <laughs> for like one hundred and thirty dollars, and it has all these wonderful stitches that are really cute. But I just have to like learn what size goes well on paper. Cause sometimes. I know what stitches look good, and sometimes I have no idea what they're going to turn out like. <laughs> but, yeah. Thank you guys so, so much. And hit that thumbs up button if you guys had fun today. I will see you guys here tomorrow. It's 4th of July, but I'm always crafting. It's always crafty hour for me. I think my husband will be off 
but I should still be able to have my little crafty hour. Okay, you guys, I hope you guys have a good day, and I hope you guys have a good 4th of July. Have some fun, you guys. Um, spend some time with your family, and of course, be safe out there. Uh, thank you to Patricia, to Aaron, to Vicky, to Sass. Uh, who else is here? Let's see. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Aaron, I think I already said Aaron. Bonnie. Bonnie was here. Irina was here, too, of course. Thank you, Irina. And thank you, everybody else who was here hanging out with me. I appreciate it. Bye, you guys. Have a good day. Have a good 4th of July. And um, I'll be here tomorrow. Bye.